morning, welcome to Salt Fix. I'm Lee's dad and I'm going to tell you about my fishing spots. <laughs> Myself and Zane, yep. we're up the beautiful Moor River this morning, thought for a change we come up. I had a bit of a rumour that the mouth broke through a few days ago when the river was at an all time low for 50 years, but um, three days ago is a long time, the river spilled back up again. and. Um, yeah, it's not as shallow as I was hoping. I was hoping to have sandbars exposed everywhere, but it's kind of starting to fill back up again with the rain. So um, we come up here for a look anyway. It's a beautiful day. I'm puffing because we've just climbed up this massive sand dune. <laughs> you can see the canoe down there in the bottom. So we just climbed up this sand dune. We thought we'd come up and have a look. The Eastley's pretty strong up here. But we're going to have a bit of a look around, have a cruise. Got no real plans. We're going to fish, but I'm not too excited about catching fish today. It's just about exploring and having some fun with Zane. So, Anyway, see what we can get up to. What are you going to do, Zane? I'm going to run down. Are you going to face plant? No. Okay, let's see it. Go. Righto, so here comes some dodgy stuff. Got Captain Zane at the wheel here. I'm going to attempt to lift off the drone off the front of the canoe here. I don't know. I don't know how well this is going to go, but we'll give it a crack anyway. First time launching the drone from the canoe. Anyway, see how this goes. Water at the moment is just on 15 degrees, which is really cold for this river. We're trolling with some little soft plastics out the back, some Z-Man grubs. Um, I find the brim are really lethargic in the winter time when the water's cold. It's really hard to entice them to bite on a lure. They'll smash baits, but on lures, it's really hard to entice a bite. But we're trolling along anyway as we're going. We're more about exploring and just having a bit of fun today. Hey, if you catch a fish, well that's a bonus. But yeah, in the summertime, you come here when the water's warm. Little um, two and a half inch Z-Man grubs, in motor oil or watermelon color. And the brim are all over them. You normally catch yourself a heap of brim. Um, a lot of small ones in this river. It's just a magical place. So far on spoil. Oh, oh it's got a good hit then. Just got a massive touch up there. So far, this river is relatively untouched and unspoilt. Um, sad in the future, I don't see it staying that way. Um, yeah, you can't stop progress, and I'm sure it won't be long before the developers come in and start bulldozing all this beautiful bankside vegetation. But in the meantime, we're going to enjoy it. Well, that was convenient. Just went for a bit of a coffee run at the canteen up the road here. Now we're going to go down over here to the mouth. Looks like it's been broken through in the last few days which is the same reports I've been getting. We're gonna cruise down there, maybe cook ourselves up some breakfast. What do you got, Zane? I got a mixture. I reckon maybe we probably could cook up on that beach. It's pretty windy, but. <laughs> Proffies for the boys. A couple of pelicans. You bloody pelican. Oh, hang on. Oh, we're getting waves coming through here. Look out. Ooh. What do you got there, Zane? Bait basket out of a cray pot. Litter on the beach. Not so cool. So here you go. You can see here the last few days. Oh, it's actually still flowing out over here. Look at this. Wow. This is pretty cool. You can see how the river has broken through to the sea here. It's run out, it must have been running pretty strong the last few days and it still looks like it's running out gently here. It's probably a good thing we didn't get the canoe stuck in this current zone. <laughs> oh, you're sinking 
Actually, it's probably a real good thing we didn't get the canoe stuck in this current because I don't think the canoe's powerful enough to fight against that. Wow, that's fairly ripping, isn't it? I can barely... Fairly ripping. Wow. So the old river, there's a few tons of water pumping out there. Out to sea. You can kind of see the big brown stain on the water here. This is the kind of conditions to get the mulloway fired up. The mulloway love it when the river breaks out and all the mullet and the prawns, everything from inside the river get washed out to sea out here. The mulloway always congregate on the edge of the dirty water and the clean water. And it's a great time for catching big mulloway off the beach. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to find the pinkies and stuff all in nice and close too. But yeah, have a look at this. What a magic place, eh? Beautiful clean seawater, beautiful clean river, spectacular. We are so lucky. Right, I'm going to stick the drone up here and see if I can't get some footage of this river mouth bursting through. See if we can get some footage of that colour change I was just talking about then. Zane reckons he's going to go and chase these pelicans. <laughs> go going to sneak up on them. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but he's making noise. How good is this? Stopped here, our own private little beach here. Stopped for breakfast. So what have we got for breakfast, Zane? Pancakes. <laughs> so zane has got the little guest mate Barbie going down here. I think it's hot enough. Yeah, it's hot enough. Well, hang on, if you can put your fingers on it, it's probably not hot enough. It is, so we're just gonna warm it up now. The pull one on. That's pretty lumpy. <laughs> What's that all about? <laughs> Let's start that again. That was a bit lumpy that time. <clears throat> okay, so we've shaked it up a bit. Well, it's still got lumps in it. <laughs> it's still got lumps. <laughs> it worked. But nice pancake. Looks a little bit. Yeah. A little it's bit kind burnt of there. <laughs> After the first couple of dodgy ones. That's alright. <laughs> Right, now we've got to sort it out. Bit of refinement. Didn't realise you could close the drain in the middle of the plate. Oh, I was saying that's not ready yet, dude. The last pancake wasn't too bad, and this one's looking alright too. We're on to it. It's only the second time we've used this little gas, mate, so we're still getting used to how it works. Actually, not too bad. <laughs> Look how beautiful this place is. It's called Silver Creek. So this is the beautiful Silver Creek, sort of a little offshoot off the side of Moore River. Um, canoe only up here really, it's kind of really shallow, only about 500, not even 0.4 of a metre deep here at the moment, pretty shallow. So many snags, it's just snaggy everywhere, there's a lot of bait fish. Um, this is kind of like a breeding ground in the summer, there's always tons of bait fish up this way. Um, I have no doubt there's a lot of brim that swim in these snags once the, when the water levels come up a bit further. 
magical little place. It's always calm in here, even when it's blowing its bags off out on the main river. You can always come in here. So that's it for us today. Had a bit of an exploration up and down the river. Um, I love this place. We come up here all the time in the summer. It's just beautiful, great for swimming. The water, while nice and clear today, is a little chilly, so I won't be going in. But that's another day out in our, the uh, canoe here. This canoe, seriously one of the best things I've ever bought. Paid 150 bucks for this on Gumtree. Um, I installed the seat to get me up a little bit higher, make it more comfortable. eBay, bought myself this cheap ass electric engine. I think that was about another 120 bucks. This canoe's done a lot of miles up and down this river. It's comfortable, you can stay dry, you keep your ass dry. Um, it's just perfect in the winter time. You can come up the river here and keep your keep your feet dry and keep your butt dry so you can dress up nice and warm. Just enjoy the river without getting wet. Um, so far we've never flipped it. Um, yeah, we've been a bit stupid in it a few times and put it over, but just in, the, in normal use, cruising up and down the river and fishing, we've never flipped it over. There was only one occasion where myself and Lee were standing up in it um, and a boat came past and we put it over, but that was stupid because two people should never really be standing up in a canoe. But what I've seen. I'd highly recommend getting one of these, although I've got kayaks as well. Um, for two people, the canoe is just perfect. This one's 11 foot and it just goes straight on top of my car on the back of the ute, no worries at all. Moves along at about five knots with the motor cranked right up. Um, more than fast enough for what you need up on the river. And for trolling, we troll for Brimmer Light up this, this river, we just troll along. At, on the first speed on that outboard there, it's just like a walking pace, perfect trolling speed. Um, yeah, great craft. Anyway, this is all our rubbish for today, Zane collected a whole heap of rubbish on the beach and this is our pancake mix and my coffee cup, so we're taking that with us, that's definitely going in a bin. We don't leave stuff behind, this place is just beautiful and I'd like to see it stay that way as long as possible, so everyone take your rubbish with you, it's not that hard. Why would you want to spoil such a beautiful place as this? Anyway, we didn't catch any fish today, like I said, the water's really cold. We trolled the whole way, but I wasn't too um, confident anyway, but I spoke to Zane about it, and I think what we're going to do is going to come back up here again in the near future with some bait, and um, stick some baits in around some deeper snags, and see if we can't catch ourselves some decent fish, and I'll show you how we go about catching brim in this river in the winter. And then come the summertime, I'll do another one on lures. Um, once this water warms up, the brim just going nuts on the plastics in this river. And um, yeah, it's actually quite a good session. It's hard to hard to travel along anywhere without getting smashed by brim. So yeah, once the water warms up a bit, we'll do a bit of a session on plastics up here. But for now, if you like our stuff, stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Yeah, this bin's got a bit of a tang to it. yoo -hoo! Anyway, put your rubbish in the bin, guys. It's not that hard. Oh yeah, that's got a mm, spicy meatball. Oh, 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 oh,